I don't want to speak out of turn or offend the Lord with vicious gossip. When there was nothing here but the mill and the old French trading post, Mr. McGonagall married the Huron girl. Yes. Yes, as I've said, the Huron girl was here with Mr. McGonagall and none but one or two other men, and not a woman for fifty miles in any direction, if you catch my meaning. Mr. McGonagall fell sick in love with her and sought to marry her. At first, she wouldn't leave her own. She wandered with the tribe, you see, trading from post to post. But then one winter, the marriage was brokered, and on the night of the wedding, he brought her in here, to the mill, as I've heard it told. And her hair, she wore it long, long braids, but for the wedding, she wore it loose down her back, and it caught in the machinery. And what do you think? She was ground to meet Miss Sheehan, and Mr. McGonagall there, watching and not a thing he could do once it got a hold of her. And the bride turned to grist, ground to a pulp, her lower half sticking out, her other half sawn off, on her wedding night, in her wedding dress. God rest her. It said she won't rest. She wanders the mill, calling for James. <laughs> but that's just a fright story, Miss Sheehan. Mr. McGonagall will make a proper husband. He has all the qualities, and there's many a man with a wife dead. You can't go selecting on that score. I grant you, the mill is dark at nights, and there's the odd sounds. We all hear them. It's not as though she's haunted you herself, has she, Miss Sheehan? Has she?